Okay. So I'm going to tell you about my experience. I have a little bit of a lisp. I'm swollen. Only on this side. Like, this side's a little sore, it's not that bad. It's only, it was that top one that really got me. It was fully impacted, I think that's why. So, when I got there, um, it was funny when the dentist was asking me, like, oh, do you take any prescriptions, like, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, I have a prescription for Xanax. And he was like, oh, you should have taken it. And I was like, well, wouldn't that been an issue with the gas? And he's like, no, they actually work really well together. And he's like, do you have it with you? And I was like, no. And honestly, I thought, well, they wouldn't have kicked in anyway. Even if I took it at that moment, I don't think it would have mattered. Um, but either way, the gas made me a little loopy. Um... But it was weird because he they started giving me the gas while they were numbing me, and they pre numb me before they actually numb you. That was a little unpleasant. Um, it was weird too because the gas was over my nose, and he was like, "Are you okay?" And he asked me if I was okay like twice, but I had my headphones in too, and I'm just like, "What?" <laughs> but I was like, "Oh uh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine." <laughs> oh, that was funny, and then. Well, it was no me that <clears throat> helper, nurse woman. It's like holding my hand. I'm like, oh, that's kind of nice. Um, but then he's like, I'm gonna leave you here to numb up a little bit. I was like, all right. And that's why I took a picture of myself with the little mask thing on. It looked, it looked weird. Um, sorry, I got a notification there. Um. So, aside from that, when I was on the laugh, actually, like, laughing guest, when he came in, he was like, okay, I'm going to perform on you now. Like, I could kind of understand what he's saying, but not really, because I had headphones in, and he has the mask on. And I was just like, alright, like, just shrugging, okay? And he did this side. I didn't feel it. I didn't know what the hell he was doing at that point. And this side didn't really bother me, but he literally did this side in, like, ten minutes not joking like it felt like less than that but I do remember kind of like closing my eyes at, po at points because then they started giving me more gas <laughs> and then when he got to this side that top one was a bitch like he literally was cranking that thing and cracking it I thought he was cracking my whole jaw I was like what is this guy doing to my face meanwhile it, it's just weird how your thoughts go through your mind while this whole thing is going on it's just like, because this guy's like digging in there, I'm kind of like, is he gold mining? And then I was like, oh, are my like teeth made out of gold? And I'm like, my teeth are not made out of gold. And then I'm like, no, my teeth are definitely made out of gold. <laughs> but like, I knew I was like full of it, but it was like, I'm arguing with myself because it just seemed like a weird thought to me, an interesting thought or whatever. And then I'm like, what if they were made of diamonds? I'm like, no, if they were made of diamonds, he wouldn't be able to cut them with that kind of machinery. It's like stupid a conversation in my head. And then I'm like, I wish someone was recording this. I can't even talk right now. No one knows what's going on in my mind. And I'm sitting here thinking this while this guy's like doing shit in my mouth. And I just thought the whole thing was kind of funny. Like I giggled at two points. And he was like, are you okay? And he thought I was, he's like, I can't tell if you're crying or laughing. But like, I had no way of like communicating to him. Like I didn't want to move. So I didn't want to be like, no, no, I'm fine. But like, I can't say anything. And he gave me the gas, so I'm like, uh. And then there was one point, too, like, I cringed when he was, like, doing, he's like, relax. And I was like, oh. Like, oh, no, and my doctor's mad at me. <laughs> and I was like, oh, shit. But I relaxed. And I felt bad, and it was, like, a stupid thought that occurred to my head, like, oh. Like, I feel bad if I was being a bad patient. Should I tip him? And I'm like, please. What kind of thought is that? First of all, I don't think you can even tip doctors or dentists or whatever. But aside from that, it's like, f bitch, no. Like, why am I thinking this? This fucking surgery is causing me $2,500 out of pocket. He doesn't need a fucking tip, okay? But it was just like, I felt bad. Like, I'm like, oh no, I hope I'm not being that annoying patient right now. I don't think I was. The procedure didn't take that long. I th Honestly, the procedure itself, I think, took 30 minutes. Not joking. Because he did this side in like 10. This side took longer. But it takes, like, a whole hour because they have to prep you up with all that shit. 
Anyway, what was the other thought I had? Oh, something about, I felt heavy. The gas made me feel kind of heavy. So I was like, I feel like a rock falling off a tree. And then I'm like, well, why would a rock fall off a tree? It's like a weird thing to think about. And then I was like, oh, I can't wait to go to Oregon. I don't know why I have this huge desire to go there. And I'm like thinking about it. And I'm like, oh, Oregon, here I come. I, I made it through my surgery. Now I can pay off everything. And then by the end of the year, hopefully I'll go there in the fall. But those were my weird thoughts throughout that experience. The bad part was afterwards because I kept bleeding a lot and it was mostly on this side. Normally they just say leave the gauze in there, but he was looking at me and I was like drooling. <laughs> Cause my whole lip was like puffed out. It was like a balloon. And he was like, wait, come back. And he put more gauze in and they gave me gauze. But I was so like, I wasn't even like doped up. I was just kind of like, oh, this is going to suck. And I had this look on my face like this sucks. So I get in the car, but I was like gagging in the freaking parking lot because the top of my tongue was dry and my throat was dry and that stupid dangly thing was like touching my tonsil because like when they numb you my tonsil was like swollen and it was touching that and it felt like I thought it was the gauze so I was like what the fuck is that and then like I actually could touch my tonsil without freaking myself out and I was like oh fuck that's what's making me want to gag not to mention all the blood and saliva were collecting underneath my tongue it was pain in the ass. And then my lip was all swollen, so I couldn't spit anything anywhere. So it was just all sitting there, and I'm just like, oh my god, I just need to, like, rinse my mouth out. This is so annoying. And, like, I was running out of gauze. I had to keep changing the freaking gauze. And then I had to, like, my dad gave me, like, paper towels, but, like, I got blood on my clothes, and I had to wash my favorite jacket. Ugh. And then my dad's trying to talk to me during this whole thing. He's like, oh, like, are you okay? Blah, blah, blah. And I'm literally like, blah, 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 blah. like, I can't talk, you know? Like, my whole lip was, I was just like, and I'm literally trying to tell him, I cannot talk to you. And he's just like, he's like, okay, okay. But, and then he wanted me to go into CVS to pay for my prescription stuff. But I was like, I can't go in like this. I look ridiculous. And my whole, like, cheek is like, poof. And then this one's like, poof. And then I'm like, bleeding and drooling. I'm like, this is, and my lip is, like, out. And I'm like, I look ridiculous. I'm not going in public. I can't even talk and communicate with people. Like, it's like, no. No, Dad, you can go get it. Let me sit here. I've had a rough day. And to the people who've gotten anesthesia, props to you. You probably had no what's going on. Trust me. When he was cracking my tooth... If you've ever seen American History X, I don't know why I thought of that scene when they curb stomped the guy. Like, it's weird because the laughing gas, I thought of that and I was like, oh shit, that would really suck. Like, you watch that scene and you're like, oh, that looks like it sucks. But then after you're like awake getting your wisdom teeth, you're like, oh damn, I could feel a crunch right now and at least I'm numb. God forbid, like, fuck that's gonna feel like, I don't want to fucking know. But it's weird how I'm nonchalant, like, oh... That must suck, but it doesn't phase you. You're just like, all right, whatever. It's just strange how this guy's like putting all his pressure, doing shit to my mouth, and I'm literally like groaning if something was bothering me. But I'm like, ah. But then meanwhile, I'm like, ooh, what if my teeth were made of gold? Meanwhile, this guy's doing that, and I'm like, and then I'm like closing my eyes. It was really strange. It was very weird. But you know what? It's over with. Now all I gotta do is heal. I just wish this swelling would go down kind of concerning me a little but the dentist said that was normal she said because they called me today and they're like oh how you feeling and finally I'm like I can finally talk now <laughs> but I told her all this and that blah 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 and she said no it's normal she's like that the one on the upper this one that's what was swollen she's like that one was a tough one to get that tooth didn't want to come out the tooth was being a bitch well, now it's not there anymore. Ha! Ah, no teeth. I just can't wait till after this month I'll be healed. I don't go worry about this shit anymore. And always go to the dentist. It's important. Your teeth are important. They affect a lot of things. I should have gotten this done when I was like 20. Although I think the surgery would have been worse then because I think the reason why these aren't as bad is because they were growing in already. 
So the only issue I have now is that they did make my, I had braces, so they made my teeth a little crooked. But now, um, they told me something about down the road, like, line I should get Invisalign. Or down the road I should get Invisalign. I'm not trying to rhyme here. Um, but that's when I have dental insurance. I don't need to do that right now. I'm not really worried about that. But at least I don't have the wisdom teeth pushing on anything and not causing any cavities. Because either way, no matter what I did, these would have had to come out at some point in my life. And I'd rather get it out now before it got worse. It's gonna be a lovely week. I'm, I'm sick of like eating. I'm not even like, I don't have really a desire to eat, but I can only eat like pudding and yogurt and ice cream. And I made like a protein shake. I had that in the morning, but that's literally all I can eat right now. And I tried to eat rice pudding and the piece of grain got like stuck back there and I was like, oh fuck, that's annoying. I literally thought the rice wouldn't be that big, so. I'll have to wait on the rice pudding, unfortunately. And it literally took me 45 minutes to eat a thing of yogurt. I've never looked at yogurt before thinking it was a lot of food. I'm like, oh shit, this is going to take me a while. Normally I can eat that like in five big spoonfuls. I'm like, nope. Now eat nice and slow. Don't want a dry socket. Don't want any of that. So <sighs> it's just going to be an unpleasant few, like at least the first 10 days. I can't wait till the stitches dissolve. Because then that's when I don't have to worry about, like, the whole dry socket thing and stuff. But that means literally for, like, ten days, I'm gonna have to keep eating mush. And I gotta be careful, like, food can get stuck back there, but... I'm also still sore right now, so maybe, like, five days in I won't be as sore. So maybe I'll be able to chew a little bit. But we'll see. But I really am not gonna be able to survive off of Jello for five days. There's no way that's happening. I'm sticking to making egg salad. I'm going, wait, I'm keep rambling. This video is going to end now.